الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على محمد المصطفى وعلى آله وصحبه كما صار على نهدي وكفى All praises and adorations are due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى The Lord of Universe We thank Allah سبحانه وتعالى We appreciate Him Almighty May peace and benediction of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Be upon Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم His household His companions and those who follow his path till the day of judgment, they are great brothers and sisters in Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and your families. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant your request. They are great brothers and sisters in Islam. Fear Allah. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear the day, that, the day that you shall return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us on that day. They are great brothers and sisters in Islam. Our topic today, yeah, although it's something that we normally teach in the class, it's not uh, in our, our member, but it is very, very necessary for all to discuss it here briefly, briefly, because it's very, very wide. We call it under Sharia law and Nawazil Wal Mustajadda, contemporary issues and the uh, kind of maybe matter arising. And firstly, before we go deeply into the topic, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hafa in Surah al Mu'min, Hafa Hasibtun Anna Ma Khalabna Ka Abatha, Wa Anna Ka Milena La Ta Ta Ta. You people think that He is I just created your people to come to this dunya Abatha for a just joke, for a play or game, so that you just come to this dunya eating and drinking and sleeping like animals. Allah SWT says, I don't do that. Wa Anna Ka Milena La Ta Ta Ta. And if you don't come back to me, Allah SWT says, it's impossible. He says, Fata Allah, 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 Fata'ala Allah al Malik al Haq. He said, I am too much, I'm too high to do that. For me to create you people, to take time and create you people, and you come to this way and come and play, and eat and drink and cheat and kill, and do whatever you want to do, and go back without accountability, Allah SWT, stay where you are. You don't need to be pushing anybody. My brother, stay where you are. You are just interrupting. If you want to be in the first line, come early. And he will not come back to me. Allah SWT said that it's impossible. There's no any other God than Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Rabbul Arshil Kareem. He has a very, very great throne. You know, last week I discussed about Al Kursi. Connect this one with the other one. He has Kursi and he has Arsh as well. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that he described his own people that is commonly remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night while standing and sitting. And after everything they will conclude, he said, Rabbana wa tafakkaruna fi khalqi samawati wal ard. This Somali thing can reflect in the creation of samawat and this earth. And after everything, their conclusion is what? He said, Rabbana, O oh our Lord, ma khalaqa hadha batila. You did not create this dunya. You did not bring us to this universe, to this world, to come and play. Rather, you created, you created us for a purpose. If you don't know that purpose, Allah SWT says, wa ma khalaqa li jinnah wa li insa illa li abudun. I don't create human beings and human genes, then for ibadah, but for ibadah. You are here in this dunya to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are if you refuse to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, animals are better than you. That is reality. Because on the day of judgment, no is hard for them. And if you face is hard, and you are living like animals, it is wrong. And Nabi Yahya, no, no time, anyway. Yahya alayhi salatu wa salam, when he was small, as a child, his own mates, his friends, they called him, they invited him, they said, Yahya, let us just go and play. Come and join us, we want to go and play. Maybe football or go to go and run, or volleyball or basketball or anyone that people are doing today. And then, and Abi Yahya said, he said, my life of He said, La, me, I'm not going. I'm not going to join people because Allah SWT did not create us to come and play in this dunya. Allah Akbar. Here, what I want to discuss, now there is ongoing fever, the fever this in World Cup. 
Some people are even in Nigeria buying things and saying that the economy, some people because of money, the economy they will not go. And some money to even go there to travel. They bought tickets, so how the lot. And they were there, they are there. And so across the globe, people are coming, rushing Qatar to go and watch football. You that you cannot go on in Logo and you are in your country, you subscribe because you want to even extra one so that to be seeing everything. As I'm talking here on this member, I don't know whether whether Nigeria is included or we are not, I don't even know at all. And I don't know which club that will play today or tomorrow. Some people he has already captured everything, tempted on his head, and he doesn't know how to reset fat and shame on you. It's wrong. You don't have even off head. One of our needs of prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but you already know. Even the champions and everything you know. Only what I know about is that Saudi Arabia eh, defeated Edis and Getina. 2-0 or 2-1. Anyway, because you also you must say on newspaper or this thing, but for you to engage yourself in, in the, to a football or to serve as a footballer and to watch football and to pay money, what is Islamic induction concerning the matter? You already read this in the Akhdari, call it Allah. You are not allowed and permitted to do anything. You must know a last rule. There's not a rule about that act that you want to do. Majority of ulama, and let me tell you, you check, issue of football, from Bakara to Burabi Nas, you can never see Tahadji, I challenge you. You can never see any, even one eye verse talking about football directly. Eh? And if you go and check thousands of ideas that we have, Check Bukhari, check Muslim, Sunan Ibn Majah, Tirmizi, Nasai, Daoud, Tabarani, Mujam al Kabir, Al Sagir, Al Aousad, check Al Jabir al Kabir, Al Jabir al Sagir, check anyone that wants to check you know, single, single hadith talking about football, whether legalizing it or talking about it. That's the reason the only man, they will come playing football or to, for you to serve as a footballer and to watch football is one of uh, what we call a nawazil well most that that is contemporary issue. Did you know how to do the life of the Prophet If I go back, Corona will fall down more than three centuries. 300 years after the Prophet Muhammad said they don't know what they call football. That's the reason why now, if I want to tell you about the injection, Islamic uh, this uh, rule or law about football, we need to bring some Muasi rule. Muasi rule, there is the old Emma that, they, that witnessed that football. They know what is happening there. What are they doing there? Are they killing people? What are they doing? Are they drinking alcohol? That is the reason why Sheikh, uh, former Mufti of uh, Grand Mufti of Saudi Arabia, Ibn Baz, Rahimullah Ta'ala, and uh, Sheikh Ibn Usaymi, and Saleh al Luhaydan and Saleh al Fawzan ibn al Fawzan, and Lajrat al Daima Council, a fatwa council, permanent fatwa council in Saudi Arabia. All of them say that uh, football is Arab. Yes, you may be wondering. They say any football that doesn't care about the Islamic rule, no, they don't consider time of salah, they don't consider comfrey hour. You know, all of them, they don't allow people to wear long clothes and that. What they do is a short, short one. Seeing it, women will be looking at you. You also will be looking at them. People will be looking at you. That one is wrong. And mostly, mostly even these people walk out that they do, it involves the gambling or betting. That's now you see money very, very high. Yes, now. That one, the ulema, our ulema, if you like accept it or reject it, our ulema, they said that kind of football is haram. Because they don't allow you to go and pray when they when it's time for prayer, and mostly they feast me sometimes two o'clock or three o'clock. Subhanallah, you will miss uh, Asr prayer, you will miss Maghrib prayer. You, you are not there, Allah will save you and your Iman. You are here, you, you are on TV. They are calling prayer, you say no. God in Asr, you say no. Maghrib, you say no. Some will even deny themselves sleep in the night. Because they play some uh, midnight, right? If we don't sleep, and we miss to be prayer. You tell Allah the day of judgment, the reason why you miss that particular prayer. And I don't know who you, 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 you will escape Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That question, how are you going to answer? Me, I don't know. And the, the same ulama, they say that if you can see, can there be football that is highly free from taking alcohol, no gambling, no betting, no showing our nudity, no taking alcohol, no alcohol. No mixing between men and women. And 
And the, the many third time of prayers, they will call prayer when it is time. Allah, Akbar, Allah, Akbar, it is time for prayer. Stop that ball. Stop that game. Go and pray. Go and pray. Even you as a footballer, stop. Which is not possible. They said that one, that one is allowed. Is allowed as a means of real exercise to make yourself so that because you need fitness, even you as a man, if I'm not fit enough, I can climb the bar now. So that you just start for five minutes, you sit down. So that for the sake of fitness and to gain more energy to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the only one said that one, there's nothing, there's nothing bad about it. They won't say that it is, uh, is recommended. And they legalize it for small, small children, the way we do today. Especially in Islamic schools, you see our children, whether maybe Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, they just wear their sport wears and they will come and play for like maybe 45 minutes or one hour and we take them their classes. When it's time for their prayer, we say call them to come and pray. That one, the old man said that that one is even is, 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 is proper. And now don't ask me, because time will not permit me, to ask me whether for somebody to serve, maybe football is his, his own profession. Is it halal or haram? Don't that one by yourself. I've given lecture about it. And now, Qatar government, may Allah SWT reward them abundantly. They are our brothers. We love them so much. You know the plan for this? That's what we need from Muslim brothers. You know they spend their money. They have spent million, millions, I don't know whether billions of dollars. Anyway, but now the plan. They realize that is, this uh, now, what can bring everybody together in the world now is that football. If you are saying Hajj, Hajj is for only Muslims in the world. But this one, you see Muslim, even you see some women with their tibba, even shouting some hand on TV, even some fighting his life, that he is not supporting his club. La ilaha illallah. Call him prayer, you know, answer, and last call, and then you are arguing. No, what is your business? What will it benefit? And then those people, they plan very, very well. They say, okay, since these people love football, they should come to our place, we host them, and they say that we implode Islam to them with sweet voices. Calling at that, see a list of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and calling international scholars like Dr. Zakir Nai to come and give lecture, and people are embracing Islam afwaj and afwaj, thousands and thousands. And one woman will not tell me that that one is Arab, or you will not tell me again that Zakir Nai is a kafir, rather you a kafir. Yes, why? Well, what did you do? He didn't try. And what else if they invite you? You can even love me that I want to be there. If they invite me, I will go there. And spread the Islamic message. Why are you saying Arab? Is it because they don't invite you and you are not up to Ibn Dalil? And if in Nigeria I had that in Kadu Estate, all life come, they say about two brothers, they are lost, but they are they are fed. They say they embrace Islam. When they look at Qatar, their hospitality, generosity, and the way they are highly organized, and the way they were receiving people, and, and the method, methodology of Dawah that they apply. That attract me, attracted, and it's attract, it has attracted people, and it's attracting many people to embrace Islam globally. Wallahi jazakumullah khair, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them. And on this people, me, I'm not saying, I'm not legalizing that football. But that part, for them to use football to call people to Islam, I think, inshallah, maybe it will serve in the Hasanat in the Sayyad, Nalik and Nikra in the Akari. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send this to Salat Vibada. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm sorry I've taken about five or more than five minutes because the topic is very, very wide and it's very necessary for us to bring it here and to discuss it. Rabbana Allah may jalbala in Nigeria, I'm not a good man. The Atiyah is going to be in Bulli Makan, the Sahara Bilal in Muslim. Rabbana Atiyah is going Hassan, of the Lafayette Hassan, but in the other one, the Lama Muhammad Wala and the Sahara was sent to Sahara. Wahab Dawana and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wahab Dawana